Hello, today we'll be going over how to connect via Ethernet to a 6K or a Gem 6K. Obviously, you'll need the 6K or the Gemini 6K. These are powered off 24 volts. We offer the PS60W power supply. You'll need an Ethernet patch cable, and I'll come back to that in a minute, not a straight through cable. You'll need a PC with motion planner. Uh, 432 is the latest version and I'll come to, back to that in a minute as well too. If Ethernet has not been enabled the very first time, if this is a new 6K or new Gemini 6K or the unit has never used Ethernet before, you'll need a null modem serial cable. Our part number is 71-016-939-10 and it's a 10 foot length and that is CE rated. You'll also need um, for PCs without a, a 9 pin COM port, you'll need the USB to RS-232 adapter with the FTDI chipset. It's manufactured by Cables Unlimited. Their part number is USB2920 and it's available at Amazon.com. Any other USB serial adapter with the FTDI chipset will work. USB is not all the same. Any other adapters without that chipset may or may not work. You do not need the drives or the motors connected to establish communication. Motion Planner 432 is a free download on our website www.parkermotion.com. On the top right hand corner click on supports and downloads and then download um, product software Motion Planner. Click the checkbox and submit. You'll need to register if you haven't registered before, then that'll take you to the download page. If you're connecting your PC directly to the 6K or the Gem 6K, you will need a crossover patch cable. Uh, if you look at the color codes on the two ends of the Cat5 cable, two of the pairs are switched. So if it's a straight through, it will not work. If you connect your PC directly to the 6K, you do need a crossover patch cable. Step one, you need to configure the PC's IP address to be similar to the 6K's. Go into your control panel, go into your network and sharing center, go into your local area network connection LAN and click on properties, go to the internet protocol version 4 TCP IP on Windows 7 it's IPv4 that you want to modify and then go to the properties on that and then set the IP address and the subnet mask. The default on the 6K is 192.168.10.30 so you just need to have the same three first octets. Uh, here I've shown it uh, dot 99 and then the subnet mask should be set to 255.255.255.0 and then press OK and then go ahead and close out of the, um, uh, the network sharing center to make those changes take effect. Step 2 you need to enable Ethernet communication on the 6K and the Gem 6K you can do this in the terminal window with the NTFEN set to 1 you can check the IP address on the unit using the NTADDR command. If you set that and press enter, you can query what the unit is set to. And the NT mask is for the subnet. NTFEN1 is only for closed networks. Here's an example of a closed network where a 6K is on a closed network through a switch and your PC would be going connecting through the Ethernet switch. In that situation you would use straight through cables between the PC and the switch and a straight through cable between the switch and the 6K. In Motion Planner in the terminal window you can see here typing the NTADDR and pressing enter you can see the, what the response would be. The NT mask, NTFEN and then changing it to FEN to 1. This is all through serial communication so that you can enable the Ethernet communication. In the terminal window, once you set NTFEN to 1, go ahead and go into the communication settings icon and then go into the port tab 
then select network and set the IP address of the 6K or the GEM 6K that you want to talk to and then press OK and then you should be able to talk to the 6K if you want to type TREV, T-R-E-V or if a program is running do an exclamation TREV, T-R-E-V and you should get a response saying that it's either a 6K or a GEM 6K and what the firm firmware is and that confirms that you're transmitting and receiving. For applications where the 6K or the GEM 6K is on an open network, NTFEN2 is required. Go into the terminal window with the serial communication, type TNT, and you can see the um, IP address, the network mask, and most importantly, the 6K's Ethernet MAC address in hex and write that down because we'll need that here in a minute. So in Motion Planner, if you click on the communication settings parameter, click on the network radio button. Don't click OK yet, but you will see a button there for the ARC-S static mapping procedure. A help page will open with the static ARP mapping procedure. This procedure is good for Windows XP or older PCs. Just go ahead and go through this procedure and then you should be able to establish communication with NTFEN set to 2. Note, Windows 7 stopped supporting .hlp files as standard. If you use a Google search though, you can type .hlp files win 7 and that will take you to the Microsoft support page that allows you to download a patch file so you can open up the .hlp files in Motion Planner. However, the static ARP procedure has changed because of changes made with the from Windows XP to Windows 7 and let me step you through that procedure first. If you've already jumped ahead and tried to do the static ARP mapping in Windows 7 you'll typically get an ARP entry edition failed, access is denied. So in that case, go into your start menu, go into accessories, go into command prompt, and instead of left click to execute, right click and go to run as administrator. In the terminal window, go ahead and type that SH space minus C, and then in quotation marks interface space IPv4. The prompt will change to net sh interface IPv4. Go ahead and type show neighbors. Find the local area connection and find the connection number that precedes it. In this case, it's number 11. Then type set neighbors with an S space, then the connection number space, and then the 6K's IP address space, and then the 6K's MAC address, which is in hexadecimal, and it's separated with the dashes in between the six different octets. In this situation, it would be set neighbors space 11 space 192.168.10.30, and then my unit's MAC address happens to be 009055000040. If you need to add another unit onto the network or change the MAC address in the uh, command prompt type delete space neighbors space and then the connection number and then the IP address in quotation marks. When you do a show neighbors after you do that it'll show that it's unreachable but then with Windows 7 it won't purge it until you reboot your PC you can always go back and then set the neighbors, reuse that IP address with a new MAC address. You can close out of the command prompt window and then go back into Motion Planner, go into the port tab, set the network IP address for the 6K or the GEM 6K, and then go ahead and press OK. Then you should be connected. Go ahead and click in the terminal emulator icon in the toolbar which is a blue square and uh, press enter a couple times in the terminal window type exclamation TREV T-R-E-V the exclamation point is in case a program is running that will precede the buffer you should get a response from the 6K 
uh, if you type exclamation TDIR, that shows the program directory. Here are some other helpful commands in the 6K when you first walk up to the machine and the program's running and or you have a fault and you want to check what's going on in the 6K, type exclamation T-E-R-F, exclamation T-A-S-F, and exclamation T-A-S-X-F. Those are the error report, the access status, and the extended access status. The F on the end means the full text report, so that'll give you 32 bits and all the uh, full description of what those bits actually mean. You're looking for anything with a yes on there. So we've shown you how to connect uh, via Ethernet, either with NTFEN1 or NTFEN2, and with NTFEN2 on an open network, how to do the static ARP mapping, or with the Windows 7, how to connect there, and some of the basic commands in the terminal window in Motion Planner. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, emn underscore support at parker.com. Thanks, and have a great day.